Many people of my station would not dream of traveling to the regions of Kauridia that I've traveled to, much less conquer. In that time, I've recruited the elite, the prestigious warrior that had to be led to the slaughter against our Roman war machine. In time, I'll reform and use fewer of their ranks. However, there is war, total war in our lands. The world unites against our Roman ambitions, yet they shall falter, for Caesar has come. Ave. We're looking at a person who's a member of House of Jerichirk. They're a member of a faction called the Palisians, and now we're going to fight them. Surrender or die. I don't care, yield or fight. And here we are now. I went over here to the west, and I did acquire some Varangian guards. So we're going to use them in battle. They're from way up north. I told you that I was working on that, and now we've got our northern fighters who will fight for us here. We're coming to the end of our campaign, so... I'll see whenever we begin a brand new one. It'll probably be whenever we've got the versions all worked out. Because right now, we're waiting for what? 1.6 in beta? I need all of you to follow me. The rest of you could do what you want, I do suppose. Yeah, we could do that. We've got a lot of units on the map, as you can well tell right now. 892 on their side, 788 for my side. That is a lot. All right. I'm going to have to zip out real quick. Let's have a look around. You know, I've got my deadly horsemen. I would love to move back, but let's be careful. Let's be very careful. That's what we should be doing right now. I need all of my horsemen to go after their horsemen. I'm going to have to divide up my group, I think, a little bit. Eventually. Yeah. We've got way too many around us at the moment. I could take my Varingian to go after them, but there we go. They're going after those mounted horsemen. It's a battle that's going to be hard for me to follow just because of how many they have over there. Go get them. The Dryadics, by far, have the most powerful horsemen I've ever seen in the game. I had no idea that they would be so strong, but they are very, very strong. All right, we've got my units over here. I need those horsemen to move back now before we lose too many. Oh, yeah, they're fighting light horsemen. Okay. They're going to be all right. <laughs> they're going to be okay. All right, we're back over here. I need a very long wall. The rest of you are there. All right. Horsemen, move back because I'm going to have them move over here instead. They got Siga. Good, good. Good Siga. All right. We're not ready yet. Because right now, we need to have our units move over here. And I am going to get back on a horse eventually. I've been enjoying my time on foot. I've always been a foot soldier in a lot of my games. But I have fought on horseback a lot too, like my Vlandian campaign. I fought on horseback. Quite extensively so. But we're going to see what we'll do for future campaigns. Because, again, as I always say, it depends on the mods out there. And that's true for any game that I play. It depends on what's out there. Like in Crusader Kings 3, I'm waiting for other cultures to be expanded upon by either official content or mods. Oh, there they go. I saw one horse go flying. That was awesome. Oh, they've got a few lords over here who are doing well. All right. Well, let's move up. Why don't we? Why don't we? We can do that. We beat their horsemen. That's a great start to our battle. Oh, they did kill one of my horsemen, unfortunately. Let's come back over here now. They can wait there. Those lords did a good job. Good for them. I'm not too worried about every formation of unit that we have here. I figured I could try out the hammer for fun. If all of you like it, that's great. If not, then I'll go back to a gladius, which I do have right here. But my wife, the empress, she did quite well with it. I thought I could do well too. I've upped the battle size a bit, so the battles are actually going to be bigger, which might make it harder for me to command until we get more nuanced controls in the future, but I figured it could be quite cool to see. Man, look at him move. Pretty good. All right, we're back over here. Oh, man, look at that group. That's a lot of them. All right, so right now, I want all of you over here. I want the rest of you over here. I want my own guard to move back a little bit. They can wait. We can flank later. Okay, I want all of you in a shield wall. Get into a shield wall. Range units, you know where to wait. We're going to try to outlast them if we can. That's going to be today's goal, to outlast our foe. 
Because if you look at it, they have a lot too. Alright, we're back over here again. Have a look at the exchange right now, though. That is pretty terrifying. I'm glad we've got pretty much all shields. We shouldn't lose very many. I hope not. Alright, good job so far. I do have an idea. It'll be dangerous if I do it. Okay, let's move back a little bit. Man! The volume of missiles over here. Incredible. Someone's gonna get their eye put out. Not gonna be me. I'm not a nerd. We'll come over here. Alright. I also want my guards over here too. There we go. Here's how we're going to approach today. But there they are, my Varingian guard. They're gonna fight with me later as we jump in. Oh. That looks deadly, I say. Alright, let's move over here now. Oh, not quite loose. Not as loose as I would like. Let's move up a little bit, infantry. Move over there. I've got horsemen who can get a little bit closer, sure. Alright. I don't want them moving too much now, or they won't be able to actually hit anything. Let's see if over here they can deal some damage. I could actually have my horsemen move over here and go after them. I'll think about it. We're going to see in time. Let's come over here and just have a look. Alright, they're moving in. Understood. And right now, it's going well for us. Very well. Alright. Alright. It'll be almost like a movie at the moment, I think. You gotta wait over here for now. Oh, an arrow did hit me. That's unfortunate. Hold on. Let's have a look. You can see how the battle's performing right now. We've got all these arrows here. They're clashing right now on our shield wall. We're gonna have to hold them back. They've got the power to do some bad, bad things today. You can see how many range units they had, too, just because I mean, they were able to do that. But of course, we're flanking them a little bit. All right, now, what I want at the moment is for my horsemen to go over there, because we'll go after their range units very soon. We're going to hold on over here. I was going to charge in, but give it a little bit, okay? I don't want to do it yet. We're rising up. I'm having to watch over the battle real quick. They're holding very, very well. They've got so many men over there. All right, the horsemen are moving. I want my range units to move up just a little bit. I want my Varingian guard to move up a little bit. You can see me just issuing commands, shouting at my men. Okay, I'm going to send out my horsemen now. We'll do that. And now we're much closer to the enemy formation as we tear right through them. If it wasn't for our capability to hold over here, we would be done for. Actually, I'm going to move the guard back over here. That'll be right by me. That would have been a better idea to watch over my flank. But there goes all of my horsemen now. Look at that. Okay. Now we'll come back. Got to get our information back up. And I'll go after a few enemies. Oh, that deals a lot of damage. No wonder. My wife was able to hurt so many people. Well, this should be fun. I'm going to put away... Yeah, what I have here for a shield. I want all of you to follow me. Ooh, 750. Blunt damage. Extra damage from skills and perks. Understood. Let's go. Let's just start bashing a few heads in. Wow. Look at my guard. Chew right through them. That was awesome. Let's get more of them. It reminds me of the weapon that Sola had towards the very end. I crafted that. And boy, was it powerful. I mean, Solo was getting like over 100 kills in every battle, killing multiple enemies with every single swing. So despite my damage, I don't think I'll ever match his kill rate. His kill rate was incredible. At least now we can hit like a truck, which feels about right for our character. Now we did win. That was only one battle. Oof. 15 kills for one of them. That puts us at 19 kills for me. Julia got four kills. She probably wasn't on the front line, really. We didn't lose too many. They did lose over 400. And again, have a look at my guard. These are my tough guys over here. 
and hopefully they perform quite well. Do you think I'm deadly? It's more about how I'm commanding in my soldiers. They alone are the deadly ones. That's a lot of prisoners. Wow. We got them. I'll pick up all of your prisoners now. But much like in my solo campaign, we're going to go in a major offensive. I did it over in that campaign, and I'm going to do it now. And we're going to conquer a lot of lands around us. That's my goal. That's going to be my fun time. Fortunately for you, you get to die. It went back to work? Okay, well, that's good. No one cared? Good. I like your four cat. I'm going to have so much money now. I've been saving a lot of their gear in case I ever need money. Look at that. I'm killing them now. Because I'm not going to fight them over and over. They're going to die. They came over here to Rotai and they wanted to cause issues. I said, no, you're not going to cause issues. You're just going to die. All right. We can do some more smelting later and making some new items. Livia is very good at that. I'll have to get her back into my party in order to utilize her capability. Now, we've got another army over here to worry about. Right over here, Kelatil's army. I don't believe the hammer fits in with my aesthetic, so I might not use it continually. I'll wait to hear back from all of you. I wanted to try it in one battle, but I'm going to let my wife kind of be the one who uses that and my companions too. They're quite easy to craft up for Livia. But, let's see here. I've got to promote a few more legionaries. We'll do that. I've got many. I've got many. I do like that weapon I used, that battle axe, man. Oh, that was good. That was really fun. I did spend some time over here resting up. As you can see, we don't really have very many who are wounded left. We do have Calatilde right there. I don't like fighting during the night. You know I don't like to. Largely because I can't really see, nor can many of you. All right. Hold on. I'm getting ready, and I think we're good now. Let's go in. Hello there. I like what you're wearing on your head. It's pretty silly. By the way, I did find some concept art for the Vlandians. Some early concept art. They were meant to be more Saxon in design, and I wonder why they changed their mind, because I feel like that would be a much more interesting choice than what they chose for the actual game itself. You can tell me what you think. If I remember, I'll try to share a link about that, because it's pretty interesting. All right. We're going to have a lot of horsemen coming towards us. We know that much. Get over here. I want all of my range units over here. I want my horsemen over there. I want my Varangians. Well, they can wait over here real quick. All right, here we go. I'm not going to be able to really do too much here. I'm going to have to just like let them fight for a little bit. But here comes our enemies now. They're leaping over. They're getting over. They're trying to get over. And right now, we are destroying them. They've got light horsemen what a bad idea they shouldn't be here they're outclassed they charged right in and they're being slaughtered for their impetuous behavior you can't be impetuous around me you get slapped a little oh man if there's anything that i would have wanted in my own career and life i think personally i would have loved to have written the lore for banner lord and i would have probably loved to have been in charge of the overall aesthetic of every faction. I certainly would have changed up quite a few things and I would have been a little bit more focused in it. And the lore would have a lot more to it too. You, all of you, or many of you know about my love of D&D &D and my love of writing. And of course, you know that I really engage in storytelling when I'm able to, which is quite often now. All right, get over there, shield wall. Go distract them a little bit. I'm gonna get my other forces ready. Oh, look at all the dead horses. Poor horses. All right, come over here, Varengians. I want you over here. I want my range units over here. Meanwhile, on our eastern approach, we're going to have all of our infantry just kind of hold up. It's mostly Praetorians. Oh, there's Jason and a few others because I'm not always in charge of who my men recruit. I mean, I could probably set it to only recruiting Imperials, but I'm not sure how to really use that in that mod that tells me that, hey, I can tell them what to recruit. It's kind of clunky. Hopefully we'll get like a more streamlined version of that in the future. All right, they're going to wait over here. That's my biggest goal right now, is to just like have them draw enemy attacks. And that would be a good thing. A very good thing at that. I'm back on a horse again. 
I'm no longer using that hammer. Again, if you really want me to, I can, but I thought our previous weapon was sufficiently powerful. Once you get to a certain point, it's overkill. You just need to be able to take out enemies in one hit. That's all that you really need. And my current weapon can do that. Hell, my Gladius can do that. I'm just more interested in breaking shields right now. Breaking shields is a top concern of mine. All right. So here's what we want to do, okay? We're going to want to move over here with everyone. Everyone. Kosas, good job, my friend. What a clever fellow, some say. All right, come over here, too. Shield wall. That's my Varengian guard. I want them over here. I've got my throwing weapons, too. I want some range units over here, too. But I want them in a loose formation. We're going to want them to attack a bit. That much is true. All right, hold on. I think for now, I'm going to get a little peek over here and see where I can move my infantry. I do want them to move up a little bit because we're going to catch them on multiple sides. That's how we're going to win today's battle, just by being a little bit mean. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay. I want my Varengians over here now. We don't need a large group of them, just a small group. They can hide behind, well not hide, but they can relocate behind what's over here, that small building. Kostas, he's having fun. I've got some range units too who are now attacking them. They come over here to attack me, they'll be flanked, so good luck to them. I'm just trying to get some good eyeballs on the situation. You can see what it's like to command whenever you're not using RTS camera. RTS camera, man, I'm just so used to it. There's like parts of the mod or the mods I use now where I'm like, oh, it's just part of the game in my head. All right, let's go. Charge in. Advance right now. Horsemen, if you want to go after their range units, go do that now. Keep your shields up. Keep your shields up. All right, so my infantry, they're going over there to fight. I'm going to be over here. Wait. Are they trying to brace up with their... Oh, that's really cool. Very effective. I'll have to try that out. I got a mod for it. I didn't know if it worked or not. I don't really have those types of units. But here we go now. They're beating them over there on the front lines. I'm coming over here to go after some of these crossbowmen. Roadoaks, huh? The progenitors. Ethnogenesis. Let's get them. Well, that's a lot of them. It's all about landing that one hit. That's really... A what it's all about. Good job. We've destroyed them now. Alright. F9. Follow me. We want them in a line formation. That way they're not slowly moving in formation. Alright. The horsemen got them. We'll come over here now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Right now. Let's catch them from behind. Get over here, Varengians. I'm going to use a few throwing weapons. Because I like to. I mean, look at that. I'm getting like one hit kills over here too. Pretty darn good, I think. All right, get away, horsemen. Get over there. Go chase after anyone who's trying to leave. And now, charge in. Have a look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. They're trying to assume positions over here to go after <laughs> our soldiers. That's really crazy. Got him too. A pikeneer. If I was playing as a Vlandian faction, that would be so deadly right now. But look at him. We caught him. We flanked them. Good job, Nordlings. Good job. I've gotten much more refined in my tactics if you've been watching me play over the course of time. Well, it also depends on the capability of a faction, like if they've got decent shields or anything else. Uh-oh. Things are just hanging out. Hanging out and around. All right. I'll take what you have. I'll take... Yeah, sure. Come on in. Come join me. Unfortunately for you, you can't live. Ederend, your hat is hilarious, but you can't live either, okay? Those days are over. I'm here for crushing, not for loving. And many of you made a decision early on that we should only have Romans join our faction, so that's what's happening. And obviously, I've got my battle wives. I need to go get Yana back. Do any of you miss Yana? By the way, I did pick these up over here for plus 15 to damage. I thought that would be pretty handy, too. I'm going to change them later, but they don't look too bad in my view. All right, so we got that groove. That was really good. Ooh, more recruits for him. We'll pick up a few more over here, too. Plus two over there. All right, so where are we going now? Oh, there's a rebellion. 
I didn't even want to hold on to that location. All right, we're going to go back after that location. 123. We can beat them. I know that we can. We'll beat them. And then afterwards, what we'll do, we'll probably go after Legetta. Legetta would be a good one. I'm going to fight through many, but I didn't even want that location. I'm going to give it away once we're done here conquering. There's only 75 of them. Now, we could easily go in, but I feel like the auto-resolving will be sufficient. And it was. Yeah, I had a feeling they wouldn't do a great job of that. Okay, prisoners over here. If I can take any of them, I'll take a few of them. There we go. I only skipped through that process because it just takes a bit for you to wait for the camp to load up and all that. Devastate them? Ah. We need these lands over here, I think. Average wealth? Yeah. That could make us a lot of money. So here's what we can do now. We could leave a few soldiers here. I could get a few people to guard here. I've got options. I've got options. But what am I going to do with it all? Let's see here. I want to give it away, I suppose. But to who? Yeah. Let's have a look. We've got a lot of lands. If we come over here and have a look around. Rotai. Oh, it's quite poor in comparison to a few other locations we own. I don't want it myself. There. Be happy. We need to rename him later to a good Roman name. In the future, I'll be much more methodical about that in the very beginning of a campaign. I'm going to rename every single Imperial family as I can. If I knew how to like rename their clans, I wonder if I can do that without any issues. Because if I can do that, then I'll do that. The Crusade of Allied Sturgia. Ooh, bad choice. All right. We can go after Legata, as I did say before. Now, I wonder about that Relic Sword. I don't know where the other ruins are at. I'll have to eventually go look for them, because right now I don't know where they're at. Not a lot of defenders. They could easily cause issues. Oh, we could attack over here and go after Epicritea. That would be a good location, actually. So we'll go do that real quick. Because if we conquer that, it'll be a good thing. Kikoro is over here, or Cicero. I do understand how we believe a language might have been pronounced for the time period, but I like to stick with what's a little bit more contemporary, just because I'm not going to say one word with an accent. I've done that before, and a few people have been like, ah, that's kind of, I don't really care for that too much. Sounds kind of goofy, and I totally get that in hindsight. Ooh, 592. Okay. Hello there. I'm here for killing. Let's get him, Roderick. I do like their people and their weapons a lot, but they've got to go. 592, a decent party. Time to bow up on them a little bit. Another village battle. Oh, look at that. There's a bridge. I love bridges. I'm in it, man. I'm in it to win it. Let's go. Don't hit me. All right. We're getting out there now. I'm waiting for them to say ah, hello. Shield wall for all of you. Oh, right. They've got horsemen, too. How can we forget? All right, hold on. I'm going to go take care of your horsemen. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Let's go get them right now. My horsemen will go kill their horsemen. My horsemen are better than your horsemen. Don't forget it, okay? All right. We'll come uh, around a little bit and say hello. And we'll find out what we can do to them all. Wait, did someone hit me in the head? <laughs> really? My protection worked. I thought I had hair for a bit. All right, hold on. Let's come back over here and have a look. No, 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 don't go that way, don't go that way. Come over here instead. They're making me fight in melee battles much more than I would like to, but it's what I gotta do, I suppose. All right, range units come over here. I want them in a good, let's see here, loose formation, no, not a circle formation. Not quite what I wanted. Okay, a loose formation, that'll work a little bit better. All right, now what about my main group? Are they doing all right? Yeah, they're doing all right. Shield wall? Shield wall, everyone. Come on, let's go. Keep it together. That's what I'm talking about. That could have hit me. That could have killed someone. You guys are violent. You need to calm down. All right? Oh, they hit me again right in the head. Keep in mind, it would hit me in the head regardless of, you know, me wearing a full helmet or not. All right, let's come over here. It's kind of a weird one here. Obviously, there's an issue with the uh, <laughs> crops here, or they don't know how to farm, and that's how their <laughs> crops come out. Oh, no. Poor guys. No wonder they're hungry. Don't worry. We'll teach you how to farm. 
We got to get the olive oil and the good of bread. Okay, we'll come over here real quick. Got him. Headshot. Oh, you. The guy with all the not dying. That's okay. We'll go around. All right, they're moving in. They're moving in now. I've got my group together. Come follow me. Yeah. Follow me. The rest of you go in. We'll go after their boys over here. I know they want to hit me. They're filling up for it. Oh, I had meant to hit him. 80 damage, not bad. Okay. Got him that time. Okay. Let's go. Let's do some killing. I think a few of my companions might be out there. My wives or someone. Okay. Now, here's what I'll do. I want all of you to go after their mini range units, and that's how we're going to kill them. Got that one, too. All right, so now my Varengian guard has been led into their other units. I'll let my main line go after them, too, and we'll just keep on killing them. And that's how we'll keep them from really exacting revenge and damage upon my line. I can't really see in there. That's okay. I'm just here to keep them busy. That's my other... Oh, wow. Over 300 damage. So regardless of what weapons I use, I can deal a lot. I can do a lot. Leveling up your skills becomes much easier, especially whenever you've got crazy weapons to help you get to where you need to be. All right, charge. Charge now. They were a little bit tougher, but not that much tougher. Have a look at that battle, though. Pretty good, right? Here comes my Varengian guard. They can follow me whenever they want. We got them all. It's over. They did a great job. All right, I killed 24. Julia got, what, six dead? Their side lost it. We just need to chase after what's left now. Pretty good, man, pretty good. But that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're here to do. I'm just waiting for that last guy to die, come on. We've done enough work now to where we should be able to continue pushing into various factions and their lands. It used to be that I had a narrative for every faction that we fought, but now it's just really about an all-out war. That's where we're at right now. Total and complete war. It's about the utter and absolute destruction of the enemy. Whoa, they do have a lot of men over here at Palace Castle. That is a lot. Now, one good thing coming in, I believe, version 1.5.10, which should be released very soon according to an update they put out yesterday. There should be many new scenes provided. Oh, we need a lot more because right now we've got a lot of the same ones we've been seeing over and over, and it's a little bit more reflective whenever you've got more towns and villages. So I'm very happy about that. You need a lot of variety. Like one day, would it not be incredible to have a custom scene for every castle, every town? That way you're never having to fight in the same locale. Clearly, there's going to be some commonality because you'll be in an area that maybe has a certain type of tree or just climate overall. But man, that's really what I want. That alone would change up a lot because terrain changes up battles. We don't always get strange terrain, but when we do... Oh boy, hold on. We gotta move back. Gotta do it. But we shall see in time. It's gonna be interesting to see what the game is like in a year from now, too. What mods might be out, what we'll be playing, what we'll be doing. I'll be trying and playing many other games, but also Bandalord too. I've taken breaks from Bandalord before, but I've come back... For me, it's more about knowing that people are here partially for me. I know some people are only here for like one game and all of that, and I have no problems with that, but I just wanted to assure that I've got people who are also a fan of other content I put out because it provides variety for me. It gives me a break from a title, which means I can refresh myself, come back, and also wait for a game or mod or whatever to update. That's very important to me. Whoa. Because my big thing now and what I've focused on for over a year now is really just about more quality than just pure quantity. I want to ensure that I'm at least having fun every single time and all that, because I'm sure that's like a very common thing that you might have heard from many other content creators, including myself here and there, where they're like, look, I tried to finish it, couldn't really do it, and all that. 
for me, the Let's Play format or the idea of like continuous parts works for me now because I'm all about storytelling because, you know, I played so much D&D. I thought about it and I'm like, I probably don't have the time or energy to run a type of online D&D campaign, but I can take that love for storytelling and bring it over here into what I do every day. And it's what I've done for many years playing by myself in video games by default. I like just being here. I like kind of providing story reasons for why I'm doing what I'm doing. I grew up as an only child, so imagination was a huge part of me just having some type of level of entertainment since I didn't have any siblings. I mean, when I was like very young, for like 10 years or so, I lived in a cold a cul-de-sac <clears throat> where we had many kids and I got to play with them a lot, but then eventually we moved a lot. And so I was by myself a lot. Like I remember moving out of state and the game that I had for that time period was Ogre Battle 64, which again, I still rank as one of my favorite games of all time, not just because of nostalgia, just because of the storytelling of the writing that was incredibly good. And it did take from mythology and you know, other things like that. But boy, did I love that game. And for the few of you who do know of that game, you know why I love that game, because you probably love it too. But that was a big thing for me. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I'm not going to shame myself. Thank you. Please die. But no matter what game I played, even back in the day when I played any type of like strategy game, I would think about the story about why I'm here, what I'm doing here, and all of that. And literature is a major focus of me. I read the very old classic forms of King Arthur and Robin Hood back in grade school. I remember that was like my big thing. Not very good at math, but when it came to literature and all of that, incredibly good. I didn't have very good math teachers, but I had some very passionate teachers for literature. One of them was actually a chemistry teacher. He would never let us be idle, ever. So if we were done with work, it wasn't just like, oh, sit down and do what you want. No, he would read many classical tales and things like that and stories and poems and he would inquire what did we think and so that's how I got to know him and then we would begin to talk out of class and we would have great conversations and um man I really did look up to him like a father-like figure he inspired me a lot okay 63 over here for my kills Julia got knocked out 18 kills Dido got 13 kills not bad I actually had a professor like that in university oh he was very strict and I remember we got on so very well, and um, he would often pair me up with kids who were not performing as well so I could help them out. And I'll tell you why I became very good at writing papers. That was largely because in high school, I had a college or a, sorry, a university professor who was teaching high school classes. They were working, I believe, on their PhD, and they were doing a full-time job just to keep busy. That lady, was terrifying she was very very quiet and i'll tell you about her in just a moment here so we're going to show mercy i'm not going to kill everyone the previous year she was a sub teacher for our class when our teacher was out i remember my class was acting crazy they were just going off the wall she didn't say a damn thing she was quiet she sat there and i was like okay she's just kind of like here to babysit whatever next year she showed up in my mind I believe she was taking notes like, oh, I'm going to watch that stupid little. Anyway, she showed up and she was incredibly strict and incredibly hardworking. And she taught us how to write university papers. And once I got to university, the length of papers I had to write for them did not rival what that woman did to us. OK, so I was a monster, a machine. It was like hardcore MMA training that you're like training with a bunch of UFC pros and then you go down to a regional circuit and you're like, oh my God, I'm leagues above what they're telling me to do right now. But anyway, I remember the last day of class um, for, that pr for that professor. He shook my hand, said it was a pleasure to have me in class and he just told me to never stop writing, which I did. <laughs> no, I just kind of fell out of it for whatever reason. I just really stopped writing for many years and I do a form of it now. I do a form of it now. I write little scripts every day. And I could go much more detailed, but I would need a lot more time to really forge some complicated stories and 
things like that. Hopefully one day we'll get there. One day you'll see like less content from me, but you'll see higher quality, higher quality than you've ever seen before. I mean, already we've got voice actors and actresses. We've got more editing involved. So, I mean, things are growing. It just takes time because I haven't had a lot of exposure to other skills like that. So I'm just like having to pick up what I can over time versus people who might have been like involved in film or other things like that year after year. All right, let's get everyone up real quick. Anyway, I don't usually share personal stuff on videos. I usually share that during streams. It's a little bit more organic on stream, but I was kind of thinking about that today. Hope you don't mind that. But that's what I like to do. I like to kind of get around there, talk about my own personal life here and there, not too often. Because I know like some people are here just like straight up for the story, which again, no problem with that. Like when people have their preference, I do too. There's like certain channels that I check on every so often because I'm only interested in like a certain form of content. So like it would be hypocritical of me to be annoyed at other people for doing that. It just means I've got to really just build content for what people want to watch. That's part of what I've got to do. It can't just be about what I want. It's got to be able about like what all of you want. I can do what I want and I'm doing what I want right now. Like I played Ghost of Tsushima. I've played Cyberpunk. I played Baldur's Gate 3 and people did watch it. And that to me was a huge sign of respect, and I'm glad people gave me the opportunity to try out new content like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Come over here. Come over here. Don't like that. Ooh. Got one of them. There's a lot of them over here. Come on. All right. Wait there. For the rest of you, go after them, if you don't mind. Get someone. Just trying to make sure that my boys are doing their part. All right, come over here. Usually I focus on their horsemen before I advance, and that's why. They got him. Oh, darn it. I didn't hit him. Shoot. All right. Let's move up again. I think eventually what I might do for our following part, I'm going to have a few of our members guard other locations, and will remain outnumbered. That'll add a new layer of challenge because right now, as of right now, we're able to easily replenish losses and they have no chance at beating us when I have all of my many members here. So again, as a pro tip to all of you, if you want to do well in the game that you're looking at right now, then you've really got to utilize party leaders from your clan. If you do that, you're going to have the easiest time. You really will. It's really good, man. All right, come over here. Oh, wait, no, not shield ball. Just get over here real quick. Also, there's a little bit more focus that goes on whenever I'm playing for a video versus on stream. On stream, I'm a lot more distracted. On here, I'm not nearly as distracted. Not nearly so. I am thinking about finishing a few series. I didn't have time to finish on stream, though, and editing those up as I can, but I'll think about it. I'll do XCOM again one day. I'll need to find something that's going to shorten the campaign. It's a little bit too long. I think a good 10 parts would be sufficient. Come on, all of you. Get into formation. Get into position. They're doing it. It's a good way to minimize what they're able to hit. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, my friend. If only you had a proper, proper shield, but you did not. I know you've got your bow, but be careful. All right, here they come. They are on their way. They're coming to visit me. I do like their little banner. Oh, but our range units are getting them. That's why I'm probably going to send away a party or two. Because, man, we are pretty darn strong. We are very strong. Yeah, for our following part, I'm going to send a few people to guard our new conquered territories anyway. I mean, look at that. They're dropping like flies at the moment. Okay. Time to follow me. Let's go. Oh, I meant to hit. Oh, I got a Lord. Oh my God. I got a Lord. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it right now. Let's go. Do your thing, man. I want you to advance right now. Go do it. We got him. Okay. Now I want all of my mini horsemen to come over here. Yeah. Go get them. It can be hard to highlight at times, but anyway, we're advancing. All of you advance. Got a few guys here running away, like him. Oh, I meant to hit another one. Good job, Jason. You did it. 
Whoa. They met them and they died. I think I've built probably the most powerful army I've ever built in any of my campaigns. It feels like that now. Maybe. I'm not too sure. I can't remember the ending of every single campaign. I think in Batania, we. Ooh, wow, that was a lot of damage. Right on my neck. I mean, they can do a lot of damage to me. They just have to hit me in the right location. Like my. Oh, my head! Leave my head alone! I need that for heading in the right direction. All right. We're going to finish them up. Oh, they're gone. Using my auxiliaries was a really good choice. They're able to compensate for our weaknesses here. Oh, good job. Actually, I might end up getting a herald on my side to lead my bodyguards over there eventually. I think that'll be fun. All right. Do our thing. Don't worry. In the future, for our next Bandalore campaign, we're going to have a lot more storytelling to do. And hello there. Goodbye. I haven't had time to really get rid of my prisoners yet. All right, there we go. Let's move again. Over my limit. Yeah, it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. We'll grab some loot too. All right, what else are we going to pick up now? I'm wondering about that. I don't really know yet. I think what I'll do, I'll, ooh, 900. Okay, I'll definitely need help over there. All right. I thought I was closer to a castle, but I wasn't. I was a little bit further than I thought. Let's come over here real quick. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Another group. How many are over here? How many do I need to fight now? I have fought so many. They need to buzz off a little bit, don't they? All right. What am I going to do? I'm going to come over here to the Lord's Hall. No, to the dungeon. There we go. Plenty of prisoners. I was going to kill them all, but here. Actually, the mercenaries I shall kill. They get on my nerves. Goodbye to you. And goodbye to you. I'm not joking around anymore. It's about killing a lot of these foes of mine. Especially, again, mercenaries. Like, I could kill them all. I'm not that bloodthirsty, but mercenaries I'll certainly kill. Okay. I think what I want to do... I could go after these little armies. They're very small armies in comparison to what I have. I wonder if I have time right now to go out and potentially conquer that town. Oh, darn it. I didn't have time at all. Look at that. Peace treaty. But I did get their castle. That's a good little area for us to take. Ascar. We still have Ascar. Oh, they're taking locations back. Okay, so I'm going to go fight the Lyrians now. Instead, what I'll do, I think, I'm going to come over here. Oh, Omor is available. Hold on. The Kurgit? <laughs> Idiots. Okay, we'll go say hi to... Wait, who's fighting us now? The Western Empire, again. All right. Well, that changes up my day a little bit. We're going to need our armies to keep on operating quite well over there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hmm, go after Omor. I don't think I have much of a choice right now. I'm going to go after Omor. They have a... Fairly large army. Are we close to beating them? Yeah, we're fairly close. I'm trying to end a few wars now because everyone is fighting us. It's really throwing a wrench into all of my plans. Let's go get them. It's about time for our army to move ahead now. How many times do I need to teach you this lesson again, old man? We'll go after them. We'll beat them. We'll take Omor from the Kurgan. I'm going to have to keep on looking for their leaders to kill them off. I was hoping that many of their clans would have joined other factions if they lost every single bit of territory. I feel bad about having to kill them all, but unfortunately there is no other alternative for me right now. Let's go up and have a look. It looks like our more dominant characters might be on another portion of the wall. There's a few horsemen, a few Romans too. And here they go now, climbing up. It's a dangerous area to be in, but let's see what they can do now. I believe in you. They're going to inflict some damage. Hopefully not too much damage. We don't want that. Oh, they're getting them. Look at that. He's clubbing them. Good job. That knockback, too. Like I told you before, the player is so much more powerful in Banner Lord than they ever were in Warband. The peak of power you can get to is incredible, and because you're able to organize even more, 
when it comes to your own parties, you're that much more powerful. You're not having to depend on the AI to marshal things and all of their inactivity or constantly go into feast. We can have a roast in a view of older things without realizing that there have been some improvements. And it's been nice to be able to end wars in a timely manner because you have a lot more control. And that's what's happening right now. Let's continue to look. They knocked me out. I'll be very angry. I wonder where my wife is at. I don't know where she's at right now. I just know that she's killing people. And it's also because we're fighting militiamen. It feels like fully garrisoned elite soldiers. That's the other part, too. I even have mods to where lords will spawn in with higher tier soldiers, but they have no opportunity to utilize that. Oh, I found her. She's got her own laurels on. <laughs> just watching her going around tenderizing meat is my new fetish. To put it lightly, Jason's out there killing too. Look at that. They're just going through. That guy alone just killed what? Three? Four? That's four dead now. One soldier, four killed. Alright, let's come over here. We'll come over here and uh, witness more of a slaughter. I mean, look at how they've been able to churn through them. That's why we're so powerful, because I've got elites here. And if you notice, whenever we go into a town or a village, my soldiers, my leaders of my soldiers, they're constantly recruiting new men. But because they have a bulk of veteran soldiers, they're able to raise them up without all of them dying right away. Ooh, there we go. We're nearly done in the battle. There's Magnus getting kills. My wife is still clubbing people. Sometimes I just want to watch her in battle for like the whole battle. Would you be interested in that? Like watching the battle from a perspective of a, another character? Because I could totally do that. At least a few of them. Because it's fun just watching her run around the map, killing everyone. Wow. All right. We're done here. We beat them. We got them all. That's how our army performs. And later, we'll get even more done. My Legionnaires, you've been with me for over a month now watching this campaign. I hope that it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to make it. We do have more to make. We've got a bit more to take from the other rebellious Imperial factions. And we've got some barbarians to beat. We've got to re-establish the old empire. Then who knows what may come next. Ave Legionnaires and Spicy Tony, welcome to our patron community. It's good to have you around, buddy. Until then.